Hello and welcome to how to animate your explosion of assembly in Solid Edge. So hopefully you've of course got an assembly and we're going to use my 3D puzzle cube from a few projects back here. So first thing you're going to do is go to the tools tab and then ERA which stands for explode render animate and click on that one. Now we've probably done this before and of course we are going to do auto explode and when we do that, then you just click the green check mark for top assembly. And as long as you got a distance you like, mine's 10 millimeters from now, you can click explode. You can set the options if you want to. We're just gonna go ahead and do that. And remember, you can kind of play around with it if you need to and adjust things. I kind of like the way it does right now. And then you just hit finish and then you can escape out of there. Now this is the little trick that you need to do in order to get to animate properly. You gotta go up here where it says configurations and you're gonna have to click this drop down here and if you don't have anything other than the default solid edge, you're gonna need to click new and type one in, right? So I would type exploded demo or whatever you would like to do, Just you could just do exploded click OK. Now when you click that checkbox, you will see that it should be in there in that checkbox right there. So now I can go to the animation editor and right now, um, if I don't have to, I'm going to create a new animation right here and I'm just going to call mine animation demo. And you can again, you can set the frames per second you want and the length of the animation and all sorts of things. Um, as long as you've done the explosion of assembly here, and you may want to just reroute it so you can kind of see it in the window here. There we go. Now I want to get that explosion in there so I can right click, or if you don't have a second mouse button, you can control click, and then you'll hit edit definition, and then you should see your exploded or exploded demo, whatever you've named it in that little drop down. If you don't, you have to go back and do that configurations thing like I showed you earlier. You can set the initial state, whether you want it collapse where it's all together or exploded already. I want to start mine from collapse, so I'm going to change that. And also when I animate it, of course, now I want to start with my outermost pieces first because I want the pieces that are on the outside to come apart like you would naturally take it apart. You can set those how you want and there's other things to check, but I'm going to go with that. Click OK. And now um, if I click play, you'll see my cube and it will come apart in the order that it would normally come apart here. All right, and then of course there's ways that um, if you want to also have it collapse back on itself, you can control, you can control, um, control A, select all of these things and do a mirror of that event. And so you have that explosion happen both coming apart and putting itself back together. But this gives you your basic thing. And then of course, when you want to save it down here, there's click save as movie and you can just save it as a movie. You can do WMV or Windows for video for Windows AVI, the choice is up to you. And then you've also saved it as a movie. So that is how to use the explode render anime ERA to make an actual animation of your explosion of assembly right there.